Welcome to my <coughs> latest video. What you're looking at in front of you here is my um, 25 LED illuminator. This is the one using the 10 millimeter, 850 nanometer LEDs. The one I did before, I redesigned a new housing for it, which I had to use a lot of thin pieces of PVC cut out and sandwiched together to make a box with a depth thick deep enough to get this whole circuit in there. So here it is here. And uh, this is the uh, one that has a red glow to it. If I flick it on, you can see right about here. Just depending on how you move the camera on. This camera cannot see the glow as a white light, only as a purple light. But under the right camera, or monoculars, like the 850 brand, it's a bubble up brand pair of monoculars. That will see this light as white light, so this will illuminate the area well. And I've got the, the Pyrex panel, or clear panel, on the front here. So I can have a sort of window to put the LEDs shining through. And here's the back of it here. See, all nice and neatly done. Now the next LED illuminator I'll be building is the one using the 5 watt, no, not 5 watt, sorry, 3 watt. LEDs and they're very small and awkward to deal with so I'm going to use them and see if I can get a luminator made of them. Three white LEDs. I've got about 30 of them in there and I've got more to come yet. So anyhow this is a latest update. This is the current limiting resistors for each row of LEDs out of these 25 LEDs. These are 10mm size 25 LEDs, 850 nanometers. This is one of the red glow. This camera only sees it as a purple, not a red. So if I use a monoculars, they can see 850 nanometer infrared rays. It's the bubble up brand pair. It'll see this as white light, so it'll light up. Okay, thank you for watching my latest update, and I'll post another one next time I build another illuminator. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.